Hi gang, I'm going to show you how to make simple high voltage capacitors for this small spark gap Tesla coil. Previously I'd used these commercially made ones, but those aren't available to everyone. So I came up with these easy to make ones instead. You might also know them as Leiden jars. Start with a 2 liter or 2 quart soda bottle. Remove the label and cut off the top. Cut it as high as you can while still leaving a big enough hole to easily fit your hand in. Cut two strips of kitchen aluminum foil around 16 inches or 40 centimeters long and 5 inches or 13 centimeters wide. Roll one of them into a cylinder and lower it into the bottle. Arrange it so that it's pressed against the sides all over, avoiding any loose areas since that'll result in a lower capacitance. Tape the top edge with overlapping pieces of tape. Also tape along the vertical end that you can access. Tape the bottom too if you can reach it. The bottom of it should line up with the bottle's rim here. Then tape the other piece around the outside, such that it's lined up with the one that's inside. Overlap the tape wherever pieces of tape meet. Next I measure the capacitance. It's around 1.4 nanofarads or 0.0014 microfarads. For my Tesla coil, the commercially made capacitors added up to around 4.2 nanofarads. Which is perfect since just three of these soda bottle capacitors also add up to 4.2 nanofarads. So I make two more. Then comes the wiring. I connect the outer aluminum foil electrodes together and the inner electrodes together. That results in them being in parallel with their capacitances adding up. Then I assemble the Tesla coil with the cube power supply and put the capacitors in place. The end of one wire goes to where the power supply's negative is going to the spark gap. The other end of that wire is taped to one of the outer electrodes, keeping the wire as short as possible. Then another wire is taped to an inner electrode and then connected to the power supply's high voltage positive side that also goes to the Tesla coil. Ready to test. After tuning it, I try out the usual things. A CFL, a fluorescent tube, and my favorite, a ring-shaped tube. It works great. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel, Rimstar Org, for more neat videos like this. That includes one showing how to make most of the rest of the Tesla coil you saw, another on how to make the spiral primary coil you saw, and for variety, one all about capacitors in general. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, share with your social media, or leave a question or comment below. See you in a bit.